questions are solved using the concepts of circular motion and relative speed. So we'll take a look at a particular type of clock's questions today. Uh, relative speed normally has wider application, but we'll take a look at circular motion as well because it makes our question very simple. So uh, how many times will the minute hand and the hour hand of a clock overlap in 12 hours? So normally with clock's questions, we start with 12 o'clock. That is exactly when both the hands are at 12. So here we go. 6 and 9. In 12 hours, the hour hand has gone from 12 to 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then 10, 11, and then it has come back to 12. So essentially, the hour hand has completed one full circle. In, in 12 hours, the hour hand has completed one full circle around the clock. What about the minute hand? The minute hand completes one full circle when the hour hand goes from 12 to 1. Then one full circle when the hour hand goes from 1 to 2 and so on. So the minute hand has completed 12 full circles. So we can say that the minute hand makes 12 complete laps in the same time. The time is 12 hours for both, right? In the same time as the hour hand makes one lap. So the ratio of the speeds is 12 is to 1. The minute hand in the same time covers 11 extra laps compared to the hour hand. That means the minute hand must have met the hour hand 11 times. Right? This is directly an application of the circular motion concepts that we've discussed. So then... The answer here has to be 11. We'll also look at it from this uh, perspective of relative speed. Again, let's make another clock. So 12, 3, 6, 9. And as we said, we'll start with 12 o'clock. So then now think about it. Let's say from 12 to 1 in one hour. The hour hand goes from 12 to 1. And the angle between the, these two. This, the ang this angle is how much it is 30 degrees, right? Because the angle around the point, the complete angle, this is 360 degrees. And of course, this is divided into 12 parts. So that is why then each part would be 30 degrees. That means the angle between any two consecutive hours, that is between, let's say, 12 and 1, the angle over here will be 30 degrees. So then the hour hand covers an angle of, how much? 30 degrees in one hour. Now we are talking about in one hour. Whereas the minute hand, minute hand started from 12. And how much distance did it cover? It covered, and we're talking about distance in terms of the degrees traveled. Yeah? So the minute hand started from 12 and came back to 12. So it covered the complete 360 degree angle. So then, in the same time, the hour hand covered 30, degree, uh, uh, 30 degrees, that is in one hour, the hour hand covered 30 degrees, whereas the minute hand covered 360 degrees. So then what is the relative speed of the minute hand with respect to the hour hand? Since they are both traveling in the same direction, both are going clockwise. So that is why their relative speed will be the difference between their speeds. And hence, we get that the relative speed of the minute hand is 360 degrees minus 30 degrees. That is 330 degrees per hour relative to the hour hand. That means the minute hand covers 330 degrees more than the hour hand every hour. Mm -hmm. If they have to meet, then the minute hand has to cover one complete circle more than the hour hand. That's our concept of circular motion, right? So then this 360 degrees, the hour hand has to cover. This is the extra distance, the relative distance that the minute hand has to cover. So the relative distance that the minute hand has to cover that is 360 degrees. That means the extra distance, distance more than what the hour hand covers. All right. So then how much time will it take? So time taken 
to cover this extra distance will simply be the extra distance upon the relative speed relative speed which is equal to what 360 upon 330 which is equal to 12 upon 11 that means that in every 12 upon 11 hours the minute hand covers 360 degrees more than the hour hand in every 12 upon 11 hours yeah so it takes 12 upon 11 hours for the minute hand to meet the hour hand once. Now, how many times will they meet in 12 hours? In a total period of 12 hours, then they must be meeting 12 upon 12 by 11, that is equal to 11 times. Yeah. The thing to remember over here is that the relative speed of the minute hand with respect to the hour hand is 330 degrees per hour. Yeah, this is the important part. Okay, so the relative speed of the minute hand, let's just write that down again. Relative speed of the minute hand is 330 degrees per hour relative to the hour hand, right? And we discussed that the two hands overlap once every 12 by 11 hours, right? This is our... 360 by 330 that we found out, right? We said the distance that the minute hand has to cover extra more than the hour hand is 360 degrees. And since the relative speed of the minute hand with respect to the hour hand is 330 degrees, so the time taken will be 12 by 11 hours. All right, let's make the clock. So here is our 12, 3, 6, and 9. So this is how it looks like at exactly 12 o'clock. Now we said that in 12 by 11 hours. So when, let's say the hour hand is somewhere over here, just slightly to the right of one, the minute hand would start its new circle and it will overlap with the hour hand over here, very slightly to the right of one, right? And the time taken from 12 o'clock to reach this time, slightly more than one, is going to be, this is 12 upon 11 hours. Now notice that in this time, in these 12 upon 11 hours, what happens? The minute hand, the hour hand goes from 12 to 1 and then slightly to the right of 1, whereas the minute hand goes from 12, then 1, 2, 3, moves all the way and then comes back over here, right? So then look at what happens Let's say when the minute hand is slightly to the right and the hour hand is slightly to the right of 12 and the minute hand has reached somewhere to the right of 3, somewhere ahead of 3. Mm -hmm. Now the angle between them will be 90 degrees at some point, right, after 12 o'clock. Then the minute hand keeps moving, keeps moving, keeps moving. The hour hand is also moving, but much, much more slowly. And then the hour hand reaches somewhere over here. It's not one o'clock yet. Now, the minute hand will again be somewhere over here. That is, it'll be 90 degrees behind the hour hand. So twice the minute hand and the hour hand will have an angle of 90 degrees between them in this 12 by 11 hours in this time frame. Right, this will happen exactly twice. So that means that in every 12 by 11 hours, the angle between the hour hand and the minute hand will be 90 degrees twice. So then since in our 12 hours, right, we said that the minute hand and the hour hand overlap 12 upon 12 by 11, that is 11 times. It means that this is the number of times that they overlap then that means they will have an angle of 90 degrees between them twice in each of these time periods. That means they will have an angle of 90 degrees between them 22 times, right? In this one time slot, in this one period of 12 by 11 hours, they overlap once and every time they overlap, one the minute hand does one full circle more than the hour hand. It is at 90 degrees with the hour hand exactly twice. So that is why 
in a period of 12 hours they, they will be perpendicular to each other 22 times then if we have a question which asks us how many times will the minute hand and the hour hand be perpendicular in 24 hours then in 24 hours they'll be perpendicular 44 times right twice of 22 so 44 times now in case i were to ask you for example how many times will they be opposite to each other and form a straight line that is how many times let's say i have 12 here 3 here 6 here and 9 here and they start from 12 then how many times will this happen the here, one is here that the hour hand is somewhere here and the minute hand is directly opposite and they form an angle of 180 degrees between them that is a straight line they form a straight line how many times will this happen again look at that in a period of 12 by 11 hours they overlap exactly once and they will form, form this angle of 180 degrees also exactly once right when the minute hand is moving from 12 back to somewhere a little uh, to the right of 1 exactly once will it be in a straight line with the hour hand right opposite to it forming a straight line so that is why in a it will be exactly opposite to it ex uh, once in 12 by 11 hours which means that in a period of 12 hours again it will be opposite to it 11 times and then in a period of 24 hours it will be opposite to it 22 times forming a straight line that is right all right now uh, let me leave you with a question over here something to think about how many times in a period of 24 hours will the angle between the minute hand and the hour hand be 30 degrees think about it and answer in the comments mm -hmm.